Hey YouTubers, Mo here from Mo's Motorcycle Journey. Well, got some brakes that I need to change and just kind of wanted to show you guys how easy it is to change them. So, start the intro. So, real easy to do. Uh, sometimes you have to push the caliper back just a hair, but, and just be very careful doing this with a screwdriver because you don't want to mess up your rotor that you already have there, but you don't have to push it back too much. So that being said, there's a little, plastic plug it's actually rubber down at the bottom here just pop that off got an allen screw in there Let's see if we can get this in here Let's see if I can do this one handed there she goes let me get that off right, it's just hard to do it one handed so what we're doing is we're taking that screw it's kind of dark here but let's see if i can lighten that up a little bit taking that screw and we're taking it out of the uh bottom of the brake pads that are existing so once you turn that screw out enough you'll be able to pull it out she goes. I wish I had a, a little bit more light in there. But it's really difficult to do this with one hand. So, but you're going to get it out far enough that back one to release. Let's see if we can get that to come down there. It already did. There she is. So there's my... Sorry about the finger in the way, but... There's one of them, and this has got a little shim on it, so... We're going to reuse that shim. But... So if you just take the bolt a little further, the other one just comes right on down. Piece of cake. I did, uh... Order some new ones off eBay. Not the same exact what I got on there, but definitely a lot nicer looking and cleaner. So let me swap the shim over and then we'll put it back together. Okay, and that shim, you're gonna wanna make sure if you reuse it, I mean, you can get a new one, but if this is still in one good piece, which pretty shiny so it still is in pretty good shape but there's little tabs on this thing right around these corners you can see the little tabs folded over on it hopefully you guys can see that but those tabs if it doesn't fit right on you can just take a pair of pliers and bend those tabs in so she fits on this brake pad and she doesn't fall off that's you don't want it jumping around you want it to be solid so um but yeah let's uh let me see if i can get these back in on camera here so it's always easy to start with the first one on the outside of course because that's the one that you need to slide the bolt through to get it to hold 
just like that. You take the next one. Now these have like a little slot up in there and they have to slide in a certain way. And see, and this is, what this is, is I didn't press that caliper back enough. Okay, let's, let's unhook this and hang on one second. Okay, so I didn't slide it back far enough, but what I had to do was I had to push on the caliper and you just push it to give it a little bit of slack so you can slide that back one in there. You just screw that back in, torque it down. I believe it's 13 pounds on the torque. So I'll get my torque and do that real quick, but we'll just snug this up. So I'm gonna get my torque and torque that down. Sorry about my finger in the way. Get my torque, torque that down real quick, and then we're gonna put this little rubber cap back on. It's a dust protector. And that's it. That's how to change the brakes on a Goldwing. You don't have to take all this off. Now, if you want to do that, feel free to each his own. But bottom line, you do not need to do that. You take out this bottom bolt, those brake pads fall right out. Slide in the new ones. As you can see, here's my old ones. But uh, let me get this torque, get that done. Oh, and don't let me forget to remind you. Before you ride it, it's best to, I see that was on the back side, so it's best to just pump that back up, make sure she's pumping and pulling brakes. I've done front and back now, so, and I got tension on both. We'll go give her a test run and and see if that uh, solves my little whoosh, 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 noise that I keep hearing in the front when I come to a stop. Okay, we got her torqued. Got this little rubber dust protector back on. That's how to do the brakes, guys. Uh, that's pretty much on, I believe it's 2001 to 2017 Goldwing. So I don't know if the 2018 to 21 is like that because I don't have a 2018. I would imagine it's very similar, but 2001 to 2017, also covers the uh, FB6s. Uh, that's how easy to change the brakes, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Subscribe. Lots of maintenance videos. Again, thanks for all my sub subscribers out there. Uh, other than that, guys, have a good one. Thanks for watching.